Hi, my friend. I'm really excited to be here. It's been a full year without posting any video. I know that's really overwhelming, but I'm really excited that I'm back here and I really know that we're going to share a lot of things. We are going to discuss a lot of things. And within this, we shall really share a lot of opinions, look at ways of how we can improve our business, and do the digital marketing, and improve ourselves as in personal development. So in this video, I'll explain the 10 most essential tools for every startup. Which tools can you use? How can you use them? I really know that you have a dream. You want to build a company, right? A successful one. But which tools can you use? And how can you use them? And how can you optimize them? Well, in this video, I have your answer. Because I go deeper, I give you links, and I'll explain the best way of how you can get the best out of them. You ready? So let's get started. So the first one is web design and development tool. For it, it's no longer normal for a serious company not to have a professional, clean and content packed website. I mean, it is where everyone wants to get to know about you, your services or your products. A website answers most of the questions that a first time visitor can ever have. Say, what do they do? How much are their services? Can I contact them and how? What are their key performance indicators? So all these things can really be answered by a well-crafted website website. Crafting your website can make you stand out of the competition and give you a higher chance of success, be it an e-commerce store, a portfolio, any kind of business. There are quite a number of tools, uh, say WordPress, Bubble, Wix, Squarespace, Webly, with both free and paid plans, and most of these are no-code platforms. It really depends on the initial skills you really have. I personally love Bubble. It's really great. I use WordPress too. I've not used Squarespace so much though people have really testimonies about it but i don't know i'm, I'm i don't know I'm, i think i'll retry it. i'll give it a try but i really love uh, wordpress and bubble because of its flexibility and ability to build platforms with no code yet it gives you all the authority to customize your craft as you desire though it has a steep learning curve so you really have to take a lot of time uh, trying to understand how to program and uh, how to use the tools that you have how to set up the database and get used with that platform. It's really easy, but you just uh, have to give it uh, much time. All right, so the second tool is social media management tool. It's now easier to set up an account and start posting as much as you want on any social media platform, say Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Vero, or Pinterest. Vero is one of the great platforms. It's kind of like replacing Instagram. I don't know, check it out. <laughs> it's really great. However, it can really be time consuming and hectic to manage social media accounts as you are filled with company growth management that's why it's best to find out how you can utilize that but in social media management tools like hype fury hootsuit buffer planable social sprout sandball and others I personally use Buffer for Instagram and LinkedIn and Hype Fury for Twitter specifically. Yannick is really great. It's super amazing and it sends you daily emails with growth tips that push you to even post more. I believe that that is like the best thing about Hype Fury. The most commonly used is of course Hootsuit. It could be what a full package of premium features. Though I would really suggest that you first maximize the free plans to get familiar with the platforms. Uh, make some mistakes and then learn from them and see how you can grow your company. The third tool is email marketing and management software. So this includes tools like MailerLite, which I use a lot, MailChimp, Weber, uh, Constant Contact, GetResponse, which I use a lot, you know. Uh, most of these tools are really great. Like MailChimp, I think MailChimp is kind of like the oldest, I don't know, um, that's what uh, I really know. <laughs> Uh, so I use them to reach, acquire and retain customers. It is still the best way to communicate in the business world and email is always referred to as the best professional communication tool as one can raise easily and subscribe if they no longer want to receive your emails. So when you're selecting an email marketing tool, consider the following. Does it have auto responses? Does it have a well-packed free subscription or trial period? Or kind of like a, a, a giveaway? Availability of learning pages templates email customization can you customize your emails follow up emails feature does it have features whereby you can follow up on your emails and schedule emails and find a way of uh, you have like an email marketing plan whereby after sending this email if someone replies this this is what they send I send next 
if they don't reply this is this what i send next kind of like a flow chart of how your emails are going to be sent email marketing templates and uh, proper guides to use them properly detailed analytics that you can easily extract in either csv or pdf to share and more do they have all these features feel free to make more research and find what each tool gives find out the disadvantages the advantages and make the best decision thereof i personally recommend mailer light because of its flexibility its free plan really great it has all the features i've really talked about and it's really great it's really cheap i really find it so so much amazing i personally recommend it the fourth tool is a project management tool it's really crucial to keep track of your tasks deadlines in progress it is very much important for every successful business so agile and scrum management are one of the most important skills to develop in the business operation decals they help you measure your company growth and efficiency plus you can also use this to explain to your investors that your business is growing or something is needed to boost sustainability and expansion a project management tool enables you to visualize your company roadmap to help you achieve your goals by setting them up and having a of achievable objectives. So some of the examples of project management tools include uh, ClickUp. These are really great. Uh, I personally recommend ClickUp because it has a free plan and it just almost has everything that you really need. Moving on to next is Customer Relations Management Tool. A CRM tool enables you to manage customer information and relations in a single workspace. So you can track orders, you can track sales, feedback, and all the marketing activities very much easily. So this includes tools like Zoho, CRM, QuickBooks, Zapier, MailChimp, and Google Suite are much available for your progress. These are really great tools. You can check them out. Recently, Google introduced Google Business Manager platform, which enables you uh, to set up a way of how customers can easily access you uh, they can easily contact you make orders keep track of them and give you genuine uh, feedback that will help you to improve receive all and make a more detailed decision all feedback just help you to decide better and I really believe that no one ever improves without a feedback or a negative one does it hard yeah that's really been a rough um, before we go to number six I want to show you something you have the potential to do everything you ever want. I have been in this kind of decision whereby I procrastinate a lot and I made a video before so you can check that out and find out how you can really avoid procrastinating. So you ready? Let's go to option number six. So tool number six is a team management software. It can be quite alarming when you run a big team to keep track of their progress and keep communications more streamlined with a proper tailored software. So tools like Slack, um, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Outlook are a great way to keep the team together, sharing the same vision and achieve your company growth. You should uh, build a digital culture in your team to always check their emails every morning, communicate everything by email. Or could be a call but let someone first send an email that's kind of like the more professional way of communicating and this is great to help you to keep track of your company progress and the way of how you can uh, manage your tasks and find a way of uh, improving within your team so using your website uh, you can create as many emails as you want and then tailor them with personalities in your company to easily identify them uh, to easily identify whom you're communicating to for example csm at axeladigital.com so that is Stella Agi. Uh, we know that Stella Agi is our CSM saying instead of showing that csm you know things blah 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 we just say stella agi so saying stella agi i just know i'm now talking to uh, the csm i like slack slack really gives you the more freedom uh, to create workspaces cohorts and easily group your team as you may desire i really use it a lot and it's affordable it also has free plans which is really great tool number seven is legal management software tools like legal zoom offer a broad range of online legal services to individuals and businesses and most of these services are free and they include filling your articles of organizations uh, could be an incorporation creating your company corporation or LLC preparing your corporate bylaw or operating agreement getting your employer identification number things like that are really great um, they really help a lot they really save a lot of time additional services include business contracts intellectual property protection 
business permits, licenses, and trademark registration. Tool number eight is a web analytics tool. So tools like Google Analytics, Clicky, Mixpanel offer a wide range of options to analyze your data, interpret it, and easily make the best decision cheaply and faster. I really use Google Analytics like a lot because it gives insights about your marketing activities, including website traffic, visitors, leads, acquisitions, and more. It shows where your visitors are coming from, their demographics like age, gender, behavior, and conversion rates. This helps so me understand my audience, measure my progress, and plan accordingly. It's a good custom. To always analyze your data, interpret it, and visualize it using tools like Flourish. Flourish, if you didn't know Flourish, is really a great platform whereby you can visualize your data in charts, graphs, and other graphical representations. It has a free plan, and it also has a paid plan, though I really like the free plan because it almost just has everything. The paid plan, I uh, have put a link below. Tool number nine is a cloud storage tool. Storage is one of the most most expensive necessities for every business. You need to always have a backup of everything that your company is running for easy retrieval and referral or else you run into problems. Tools like Amazon Cloud Services, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive provide really faster, safer and reliable storage at free and paid plans. I use Google Drive and really OneDrive is also good um, and they give you, Google Drive gives you like 10 gigabytes for free. So you have 10 gigabytes for forever storage you know for every email that you own man that's so cool that's so cool right <laughs> so planning a safer faster and reliable cloud storage platform is as good as choosing the best significant other tool number 10 is a to-do management app. as part of your digital culture it is a good customer to get used to writing down what you are to accomplish in a given period of time i really support the use of a physical medium like a book or a paper or a clipboard or your wall board but as you know it's quite hard to share that right so tools like Todoist, Microsoft To Do help you keep track of your day, week, month, or year with reminders of unfinished tasks that you promised to do. I personally use Todoist and ClickUp to organize my tasks in groups, workspaces. Todoist gives you this freedom whereby you can use like common words like every day. So that means it repeats it every other day. Or you may put every Thursday. That means it's going to repeat it every Thursday or every Monday, which I really desire. That's super cool, right? So you can choose a common email of the company that everyone can sign in and then you distribute tasks. Or could be you can create tasks and then distribute them to your team using their emails. Feel free to use descriptions and add more information as you really want to your to-do list. It's really great. So that's a wrap. Did you gain something? If you did, please give this video a like. It really does a lot of good to me. So I'm pretty sure this video was helpful, right? And I'm really sure you've really learned a lot. So if yes, uh, please give it a like, give it a heart. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me up on other social media platforms at Twitter at Abedawin, on LinkedIn at Abedawin, Bukenya, Instagram at Abedawin22, and also Axel Digital. Axel Digital is my agency where we do digital marketing for different companies. It's really a great agency. Please, you can follow up and check it out at Axel uh, Digital. That will really be so good. So thank you so much for watching. I'm really waiting to meet you in the next video. I really thank you so much for loving my content, guys, on, on LinkedIn. Thank you for the comments. They really do a lot of good to me. Thank you for supporting me. For now, I want to say bye.